as you've seen in the intro, you've seen some green screen effects. And this was done in Power Director 18. And I'm going to show you how to do those effects. So if you're really excited about putting a subscribe button in your videos with Power Director 18, then you're watching the right video here. See, on YouTube, there are all kinds of green screen effects. If you search YouTube for green screen effects, you're going to find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Now, you're going to need to download them so you can search Google for how to download from YouTube, and you'll get all kinds of websites that you'll put the URL in, and it'll download to your computer. There are even programs you can buy that will actually do the same thing. And you might find them a little bit quicker. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in our little raccoons and put them on the top line. So this is what we're going to be playing with. And now we want to put some animations on the screen of our video. A big one that people like is the subscribe button. Which I'm going to put there. And what I'm going to do is, you'll notice when it runs, it kind of pops up in the middle of the screen. And then it does our subscription. Well, make sure you click it so it's blue, and then you can go into the PIP Designer, or you can double-click on it, and it will take you into the PIP Designer. So we'll turn on Chroma Key, we'll hit the eyedropper, we'll hit the green, and we'll say OK. Now, I need to resize it, so I'm going to move it ahead a little bit. And there it is there. So I guess I'll stop it there, and again I'll make sure that's blue. And I got my little white dots here because you'll notice if I click off, my little white dots disappear. So when I click on the blue, you'll see the white dots are there. So what I want to do is grab the corner, shrink her down, and uh, then kind of put her where I want. And I say, okay, that looks good. That's what I want. And then uh, let it play. And now we've got that in our actual YouTube video to actually let people know, hey, subscribe to my channel. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to PowerDirect Tutorials, what are you waiting for? Now, let's check something else out here. Um, the TV one was kind of cool. I mean, we'll drop that one in. Let me spread this out a little bit to help you see it a little better. This time I'm going to double click this instead of going to Tools. We're going to enter the PIP Designer. But you'll notice there is no green here. We actually need the advanced video on this one until we see the green. And once we have the green, then we can turn on our chroma key and then hit the eye and then hit the eyedropper on the green and hit OK. So now we can play this one and click. And there's our raccoons playing on the television, which is a pretty cool effect. Now, a lot of people make YouTube videos and do vlogs, or even fishing videos and that. If you were actually talking in the video, you could actually have yourself pop up on the screen, which would be a pretty cool effect. But a lot of videos will end up coming with pieces missing. So, for example, this guy here had put over 10 of them inside. And so we need to edit it. We need to literally go through here and um, edit this down and I need to find the beginning that looks like part of it I'm gonna back it up a bit one more right there and then I'm gonna cut it so the first part I'm cutting out I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard and then I'm gonna still fill it fill the gap and pull it up tight so I got the beginning good now I gotta get the end And as it plays, I'm looking at my bar at the bottom and the top at the same time. And right there is where it ends. So now I'm going to cut that section out. And I've got that one out. So now i got the one I want. Now when you're done, we could just leave that right now and then produce it. And then cut another section out and call it, I don't know, blue bar one. And then cut the next one out and produce it and not have to do this over and over. See, there's another one there. He's basically put all the green screen effects into um, one video of different effects you might want to use is what he's done so you can get pretty fancy with it so we're, we only want the one and uh, go back to the beginning here
And now this is it here. Now we're going to want to put some text in there too, right? But first, again, we're going to double click. We're going to go into our pit designer. Grab our eye dropper, hit the green. And that looks pretty good. And now we need text. So I'm literally going to go on the side here and click on text. I'm going to pull my text underneath it. And I'm going to move it ahead just a little bit for when the text appears. And then I'm going to shrink it down a little bit for when it actually disappears. Now, once I get my text in there, I'm going to double click on my text and go into the pip designer. And once I'm in my pip designer, pick whatever character set I want. So I don't know, maybe we'll pick this one here. Now I need to pull that back so I can see this bar. So I can see where I'm going to put my text right now sometimes when you're messing with this text it um, changes the width and the height now if I want that to be in there it's probably gonna be too small and it just ain't gonna look right so if I go on all the way down here and I go to my object settings I turn the main aspect ratio off and now I can really mess with it and it's not gonna mess with the uh, the height anymore so now I can stretch this out on this line and I can actually get that looking a whole lot better so when I have what I want I hit OK and then uh, we're gonna go back and play this and see what happens so see how that all came in really good and we're watching to see if the exit is just as proper as the intro it wasn't see our text is too far so again click the text and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back a little bit and let's see if we can get that right there we go and it's just a matter of playing with where the actual text is gonna show up and when the bar actually disappears and these are actually referred to as uh, lower thirds is what they're referred to so you could do a search for lower thirds, green screen, lower thirds animations on YouTube and see what you can come up with. Now, there's one more I think I'm going to show you that is kind of important. And this is, a lot of people don't know how to do this. And this might be a quick way for doing this for you. This box here you would put at the end of your video. You wouldn't put it on this line. This would literally go right at the end of your video. And this is 20 seconds. Now, in YouTube, there's a place that you click that says End Screen. You would actually click that, and then you can add two videos and yourself into the actual video. So you would add a video here, and add a video here, and then your rounds will show up there. Now, YouTube takes care of all that. Okay, when you click on end screens in YouTube in your account panel, they take care of that. You'll select the template you want. So obviously we're going to want one with two squares in a circle. So select that template and then you can move them around to get them inside this. And like I said, this goes at the end of your video is where it goes. And there's all kinds of them on YouTube. Some people make these out of pictures. But basically we're just using green screen animations to use subscribe buttons or whatever we want and oh heck let's do one more for the heck of it let's do this one and uh, this one had kind of the same problem okay kind of did what it did in the beginning but that's not what we want we want the green screen part so we literally have to go and edit that out back it up back it up uh, maybe back it up a little bit more. Okay, right there. I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to delete the first part and fill the gap so that way it pulls everything up tight. Now again, same thing applies. I don't need the whole thing. You know, and I'll cut it there. Well, I'll go a little longer. And then I'll cut it there. So then I'll take this out. 
and now I've got this here. So I'm going to double click this and go into my pit designer again. And what we're looking for is the green section of the green screen again. Notice this is brown. So we want to make sure we move this forward until we find the green. We're going to hit it with our chroma key. And there we go. We got a few dots in there, you'll notice. So you might want to add a new key. That's up to you. Find those dots. Well, didn't get it. There we go. I got a few more. So hit OK. And then let's see what happens with that one when we play it. Showing up with the animation. And you could add a quick transition or something like that where it doesn't jerk off so abruptly on the screen. So get on YouTube, start doing some searches for green screen animations, and uh, start really spicing up your YouTube videos. There's a lot of them out there. There's a lot you'll think that are garbage. You got to search through a needle in a haystack to find the good ones. But I'm sure with time you'll find the ones that are your favorite that you'll constantly be adding to your PowerDirector 18 videos. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section if you like these videos. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.